Princess Catherine makes the fan go crazy as she put her royal etiquette and years of training to good Jews. When she performs classic courtesy to King Charles and Queen Camilla, it worthy of the record books. The Princess of Wales commanded attention in a spectacular red cape as the royals welcomed the South Korean president at the London Hotel this morning. Princess Catherine and Prince William welcoming the president of South Korea, Yoon suk yeol and his wife, First Lady Kim kyon hee to the UK for their state visit. As is tradition, the foursome from their hotel to Whitehall to Horse Gods prayed in London, where they were introduced to King Charles and Queen Camilla, and given a ceremonial welcome. Prince William led the way guiding the president to shake hands with the monarch and the prince bowed his head to greet King Charles and Queen Camilla, then made his way around them to take his part. In a moment that drove the fans crazy, as Princess Catherine walked up the stairs behind Prince William, she stopped at the top and dropped into the perfect courtesy to King Charles and Queen Camilla, accompanied by a big smile, before moving to her spot. Grails always bow our courtesy to the monarch, but only once the first time they see them that day. This suggests that upon arriving at Horse God's Parade, it was the first time that today she had seen her father-in-law. Just as public citizens may opt to do when meeting a royal, it's common to see members of the family showing respect while greeting each other. Men traditionally bow their heads while women courtesies. Following Queen Elizabeth's death last year, her eldest son immediately acceded to the throne as His Majesty King Charles alongside his wife, Her Majesty Queen Camilla. All members of the royal family, including those with his Her Royal Highness titles, such as Princess Catherine, bow our courtesy to the monarch and his wife when greeting them for the first time in a while, even his children. On Tuesday evening, the King and Queen made a grand entrance at the South Korean State Banquet, where the monarch referenced K-pop culture in his speech. King Charles and Queen Camilla were joined by 170 guests, including royals, Prince William and Princess Catherine of Wales, Princess Anne, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, and Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh for the regal occasion. Queen Camilla wore the late Queen Elizabeth Ice Burmese Ruby Tiara for the first time with a red velvet Fiona Clare gown. Meanwhile, the Princess of Wales debuted a new tiara from the royal walls, the Strathmore Rose Tiara, which once belonged to the late Queen Mother, and the late Queen's diamond pendant earrings. Catherine chose a white Jenny Beckham gown with gold embroidery for the banquet, accessorizing with a pair of matching armed gloves. She also displayed the Elizabeth II Royal Family Order and the Grand Cross Victorian Order sash and star. K-pop reality, Blackpink were also in attendance. The band's four members, Jiso, Lisa, Jenny and Rose were addressed in the King's speech before the dinner, where he commanded them for using their platform to shine a light on environmental issue. At the start of the banquet, the king gave a speech, littered with Korean and references to K-pop culture, in front of an audience, which included members of the world's biggest girl band. Speaking to more than 300 state banquet attendees, including singers Blackpink, he welcomed them with a smattering of Korean. It is especially inspiring to see Korea's young generation embrace the cause. King Jolis said, I applaud Jenny, Jiso, Lisa, and Rose, better known collectively as Blackpink, for their role in bringing the message of environmental sustainability to a global audience. As ambassadors for the UK's presidency of COP26, and later as advocates for the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And he even joked about his own visit to the country in 1992 with the late Princess Diana, saying, Sadly, when I was in CRs those years ago, I'm not sure I developed much of what might be called the Gangnam style.